Welcome to the Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. We got a very special guest three days in a row for four. Charlie. You're damn right. Oh. Let's crack into another one. So uh, if you were uh, listening yesterday, I'm sure you've been champing at the bit, waiting to hear uh, Charlie's sorority stories. So Jonas, you went to college though, right? I didn't go to a, like a traditional school. You didn't. You didn't go to like uh, any. You didn't have a fraternity. No, nah, man, that ain't my life. You ain't your life. I, no. I, me either. I'm not. You, you sound like you had a lot of fun though. Yeah, it was a good time. You're telling us a little bit. I would suggest leaving uh, the, the explicit use of any narcotics out of this. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, drinking's fine though. Yeah. Oh my god, that's all we did. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Episode <laughs> over. We drank a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Right, next one. So. Uh, so yeah, I never was in a, a frat or went, like dated a sorority girl or anything like that. No, so I'm I'm excited to hear what kind of lifestyle. What give, give us a couple stories? Well, hold on one second. Oh, no, if you had to describe sorority life in three words, oh my god, what would you say? Three words. Uh, yeah, you are limited. Oh my god, I don't. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. Oh my god. Oh yeah. My god. Oh my god. Okay. Great. And, and in that dialect too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, yeah. man. Great. That's odd. That's oddly the most specific way to describe it. Yeah, so, so that's all you need a little, to know. A, a little. Uh, am I allowed to tell your sorority? What? Oh yeah, yeah. I already said. Yeah, right. yeah. She's a. You were a gamma phi beta. Gamma phi beta. Nice. Big, How do they? Big dogs on campus, right? That's us. How do they yeah. determine what? How do they uh, determine what letters you use? Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good question. They're like years old. Like but, like, hundreds. how do they determine like that they're gamma phi beta, and not like omega epsilon? No, that's whatever. actually a good question. They never, they never give you like the the history on your. Oh, sorority. we got the history. We had to do. Oh my god. Oh, we, I want to hear about your yeah, hazing. Hold what, on. We'll when you're there. a when you're a pledge, you literally have this booklet that has been written by headquarters. It's like a textbook about the history of the sorority, and it like wait. You, so it's like a you nationwide get tested. thing. That's what yeah, most, yeah. most fraternities. Well, and sororities Gamma are like Phi Beta this. is actually international because we have one in Canada. Uh-oh. Thank you very much. An they allow the Canadians sorority. in. That's why they're really nice. So who was yeah. who was the originator of the? I'm um, sure you remember the name. Helen M. Dodge, Mary E. Bingham. Oh God, I need to know. Your this. sorority sisters are turning into graves. <laughs> Helen? Maybe that wasn't even the name. Helen? Oh, I don't remember. That's Mary okay. E. Bingham was definitely one of them. Okay. What did Mary E. Bingham do? She started it at For... Syracuse in like okay. 19... Oh, 18... I don't God know. damn, they were partying down like before, when Prohibition well, was still no, going No, they on. were started as like yeah, philanthropic yeah, organizations <laughs> and then all the rich people like infiltrated them and... And then the kids took over it and started be- drinking. Yeah, and then it became like a yeah. party thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I feel like a lot of things start out with the intention on being like helping people and doing good to the community. And then people are just like, I just want to get drunk. Government? <laughs> yeah. That part, everything. Yeah. Everything starts out with good intention. Yeah. I feel like humankind has good intention, but you know, it always. Yeah, I mean, capitalism it's... started out with good intentions. Exactly. Did it yeah. though? Uh, it's, it's For the business. Than, it was better than some of the alternatives. Yeah. It yeah. Was better yeah. than some of yeah. the alternatives. So, yeah. Um, what so do you, where they, do you want to start? Do you want to start with your favorite sorority story? Do you want to start with hazing? Did they do any hazing? Yeah. Well, like, I'll talk about like a typical week. Okay. So this is as a pledge or once you remember? No, once you're like well, you're when you're a pledge, you have to to do some of this stuff too. But they we would call what would we call them? God, I don't even remember. We weren't allowed to call them pledge. It was like uh, they were trying to get out of like the whole hazing like environment and or everything something like that. Yeah, you had to call them like something Initiates? pledge. Not God, I'm not gonna remember. But it's been so long. No, yeah. it hasn't been that long. It's been a while. Uh, oh, that was nice. Um, yeah, so a Monday night would be chapter, and that's when, like, the whole sorority comes together in the house, and you do, like, your little, uh, uh, what's it called? I don't know. I know. Like, not chant. Ritual. You do, like, your little ritual. Wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, you have to open chapter, and it's, like, sacred. Like, you keep all the blinds shut. No one's allowed yep. in. Yep. Like, it. It's very secretive. What do you this guys, not, I mean, this, you don't have to tell us because I don't want you to get blackballed from your sorority. Like, what do you do? Like, you just is it like talk, church? You just talk, you, no, you just, you go over like the, you you welcome everyone in and yeah. you do like a little ritual thing. 
And then... Uh, Who drinks the blood? You don't... No, no. <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> okay. Um, but then we have like this freaking two or three hour long meeting about the state of the sorority. We do this every Monday. Every Monday? Oh, oh my God. changes I in a week? Know. That's... Um, well, it depends on what happened on the weekend. That's what... Oh, well, yeah. A lot of people would get in trouble. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> get in trouble for what? Did you get demerits? Exactly. Oh, oh yeah, you could get kicked out for like. Oh, because they went your... to a frat party and like did dirty nasty if you, things. Like, there's this weird, uh, like unwritten rule of like, oh. you can drink as much as you want, whatever. And this, I'm speaking my college only. Okay, like, okay. I don't know. Disclaimer. Gamma Phi Beta nationwide. I don't know, but like, there's this weird unwritten rule where you're allowed, like, you're supposed to go out every night and drink and whatever but like once you get to that point that tipping point of like oh my god you're way too drunk or you're, yeah. you're like embarrassing the sorority you need to go home and like if you get you know three strikes against so you, if you're you like blackout out. drunk That's or you're like making a fool well, of yourself like they'll they'll catch you and be like being blackout like when i went it, that was fine did like, they shame was... you in front of the whole sorority uh yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. But they'd be like, Charlie, you were out on Friday night and we saw you X, Y, Z. And yes. you're like, oh, my God. You would have to go to um, standards. We had a standards board. And that was just made up of literally girls your own age who were just bigger bitches than <laughs> anyone <laughs> else. Who wanted to feel more important than everyone yep, else. Yep, yep. And Sorry, they'd like yeah. shame you I and have, tell you like, yes. do you be like, like, do like Hail Marys or something? Why, like, we have, or, oh, you posted something on your Instagram with alcohol in it. Oh my God. You're not allowed to do. This be, is honestly, which is, this is not absent. This is insane behavior. to me. I'm familiar they with They monitored like, your social media? Oh my God, yeah. yeah like, okay, yeah, yeah. we would... This is so funny. Yeah. If someone commented a star, like an asterisk on your post, that means you had 24 hours to delete it. And if you didn't delete it, you'd be sent to standards. Because if there was like even a hint of a cup of alcohol behind you, you you would get sent to standards. So like they would just comment an asterisk. Like you all like, Co yeah, so you like, all like judged each other's stuff. Yes. This isn't, this isn't so would you, I'm sure that there were some so asterisks would, that it, were there for no reason Yeah, whatsoever. so girls would do that and be like, I look ugly in this photo, so I'm going to asterisk it. And it's like, okay, well, that doesn't mean anything. Like they're in the background, like with a weird face. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. Okay, yeah. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So anyway, so Monday. You, you, I would just take it to court at that point. You got to take me to court. <laughs> Man, so Monday is, is okay, Monday's uh, cult night. Monday's, What's happening on Tuesday night? <laughs> Monday's cult night. Tuesday at, cult. at my school, we'd go out. Uh, Wednesday. <laughs> Tuesday do, night, go out night. Oh, my God. And go it was like. what? I'm not going to give away where I went because if I say what we did, it'd give it away right Yeah, yeah away. that's fine. But, we went to the um, bar. Oh, my God. We went to a, the bar on Tuesday night. Or house parties or whatever. Yeah, okay. you would black out. Okay. Normal Tuesday night. Okay. Wednesday, there was another opportunity to go out, but you usually wouldn't. Thursday is like the entry to the weekend. So we would have, uh, what are they called? God, exchanges. They're called exchanges. Parties with frats. Like... But they're cut off from every other sorority, so what? it's just your sorority and that frat is partying. This, is this just to try to get this is like a range of people up? Yes, literally, like that's what it feels like. Because you're like, like, oh, you gotta date the Omega Kappa guys. Yeah, and if you got like a exchange request from, so we had a social I'm, manager. Whoa. If you got an exchange request from a frat that was like bottom tier, yeah, uh, it would be like no one would come, and it would be really embarrassing for the frat okay. because no okay. girls would be there. And you'd feel bad because they're like the nerdy guys or something, you know. Wow, like the frat. Oh, I'm not feeling I know. bad. Okay. That's sad. It, well, and then okay, then Friday night we'd usually have another exchange, and if not, you just go to the bars or whatever. And then Saturday night probably another. So this is literally like. So literally Monday was cult night. Every night was get drunk night. Yeah. Okay. I'm weirded out by this whole exchange party. I yeah, it's like What's the I never of even it? thought of it. It's just to like get to know each other. Like, Bro, let's hey, this be is real. my. Are they hook? They're hookup parties, right? I mean, it that's feels the point. like a hookup yeah. party. I mean, but not only that, it feels like an arranged marriage hookup party, which is, makes it even weirder. You're like, and then oh. it's like you're not trying to like expand your bases because what he's going to be like? Oh, really? I really like those beta girls. Maybe I'll send my daughter there when she in 20 years. I'm trying to. That's figure, not. Yeah. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out like what's the point of the. Did they exchange? have like a? Did they have like a Greek Olympics and you partnered with like a frat and did a thing? Uh yeah, it was. What was it called? God, I don't remember those. Well, with like homecoming, there would be a whole week of events. And could stuff you only like that. go like like but homecoming? Could like y'all only go with a, the 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 sister frat? You'd pick a frat, like a fr a frat and a sorority would decide so to if, pair like, together. So what if somebody in your in your sorority was dating like an omega guy, and then you got paired up with like the alpha betas to go to the yeah prom? No. 
Well, that's not how it works, but yeah. Prom? <laughs> I mean, prom? I mean, homecoming. I said prom. Oh, homecoming, homecoming. Yeah. Well, homecoming's like the football game. Yeah. It's not like But a what home, if she's dating like someone from another frat, though? She has to go date with somebody else? No, God, it's oh, not it's that not serious. It's like ownership. Yeah. It sounds like a it, little... Ownership? <laughs> Actually, now that you say that, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. Either way, exchanges sound weird to me. But I, I do want to know about some more of the week. So, well, in the, so, well, in exchanges were only like two hours long. You'd have a set two hours, and then the al- the frat would buy all the alcohol. Like so the sorority, it'd be like your pregame. Well, mm-hmm. you'd pregame the exchange, and then you'd go to the exchange, and the exchange was like your second pregame of the night. And then after the exchange, you get to just go wild on Greek Row and, and would they go try wherever to, you and want. Would they try to riz you up at the yeah. They they try to like keep you there because they don't want. Obviously, when the exchange when the exchange ends, any other girl can come into the party, and so like they want to keep girls in there all the they time. They want to be like, God, oh, there's already sounds... twenty girls here. So. Yeah, this sounds horrible. Oh my god, it does. I've never, especially like... with them buying all the alcohol. Can like... we can we yeah. roll this into one more because I want to know more about sorority. Yeah, I got a lot to say. I got a lot. To okay, say. all right. Well, <laughs> stay tuned for tomorrow. Charlie's hanging out. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Sorority row part two tomorrow. For Jonas, TNT, and Charlie, uh, we out.